So, you want to be able to inflict Scarlet Rot without changing your entire build. Don't worry, I've got you covered. You are going to need two different Nomadic Warrior cookbooks. The first one you can buy from a merchant in Kaelid, right beside where you find the map, and it's honestly hard to miss. Personally, I think that this is the better of the two Rot cookbooks, as this one is the one that lets you craft Rot arrows and Rot bolts, which I think is the much better way to inflict Scarlet Rot in PvE. The other cookbook you will need is in a chest in the Lake of Rot itself. This one will let you craft Rot Grease and Rot Pots, which are useful for causing Rot without a bow, and are the more useful items in PvP. If you don't know how to get to the Lake of Rot, ask Rena near the Carrion Manor. She'll help you out. Now then, let's talk about the ingredients you will need starting with the arrows. The first thing you will need are thin beast bones, and I was about to take you to this area here and tell you how it's the best place to farm these bones because of how many sheep there are that drop these. However, when I was making this video, I happened to kill this bell bearing hunter at the War Master Shack in Lingrave, and turning his bell bearing in lets you just buy the bones that you need, which is a lot faster by no small margin, so please do not waste your time murdering herds of sheep when you could be murdering murderers instead. The next ingredient is the flight pinion, which is technically optional, but it's also very useful to farm these birds for other reasons than just their feathers. And using them will make your arrows go further, and this will affect even Ashes of War, so it's kind of important that you do it if you want to actually use the Ashes of War in a real fight. Just go down to the beach from the 4th Church of America and start shooting these birds, preferably with arrows that you buy so that you're not wasting your own resources. Now, we'll talk more about the Aeonian Butterflies later, but if you still need some for your early game and just need some in a pinch, head to the abandoned cave in Kaelid, go inside, there's plenty there. Just make sure you bring some preserving boluses, and you can find five of these next to the Rot View balcony. Next, in order to craft Rot Grease, we'll need Root Resin, which you can get by running around the War Master Shack, and now would be a good time to kill the Bell Bearing Hunter if you have not already. The first thing you will need in order to craft rot pots are faded earthly flowers, which, while being all around Kaelid, can also be found in abundance near Fort Barrow, near the Loud Shrieking Dragon, if you've not already killed it. The next place you'll need to go to in order to get melted mushrooms is the Church of Plague, and if you haven't already figured out the secret to Celia, ask this old man. Once you've done that, feel free to ignore this iconic questline and grab two toxic mushrooms before resting at the grace. Okay, that's almost everything, except for the most crucial ingredient that all of these items will need, the Aeonian Butterfly. There are only two ways to get these once you run out of them in the overworld. Lesser Kindreds of Rot have a very low 1.5% drop rate which we will promptly ignore for the basilisks within the Lake of Rot itself, which have an 8% chance to drop. So the best way to get these is to go to the Grand Cloister site of Grace, roll through the muck, wait for it to proc on land, and get the standard version of Scarlet Rot instead of the stronger lake version, then simply run through the rock. You'll see four basilisks surrounded by Aeonian Butterflies, which will not respawn, but will give you a few in a pinch. After killing these four enemies, run straight to the edge and kill an additional three, and then an additional five basilisks for a total of 12 chances for the Aeonian Butterfly to drop. If you do not care about how many butterflies you can expect to get, that's the end of the video. I unfortunately, however, am very thorough in my investigations, and so I did test the numbers, which confused me to the point where my test spiraled completely out of control. I don't think it's that bad, I just killed a few thousand of these guys.